Uh, tell me about yourself. Myself Mahabuni. I am from Macharla. I completed my graduation in Bachelor of Science and Computer with aggregate of 88 percentage. And I after this I my graduation I joined in Java full stack course. During my course I developed a static website using HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Bootstrap. And I developed a dynamic web application or using Servlets JSP. Okay, tell me difference between Servlets and JSP. Servlets is processing the request and taking processing the request and getting the response to the end user. And JSP is view pages. Whatever we shown in the um, like uh, UI, we can go for the JSP. Very good. So can't we go and write uh, Java code in JSP? Oh uh, no, sir. We can write in HTML. Java code. Java code. Java code. Can I go and write in JSP? Yes, JSP. We can write, sir. Okay. So, what are the implicit objects used in JSP? Out. Uh, there are nine implicit objects: out, uh, application, and context, configuration, and uh, configuration. Okay. Life cycle methods from servlets. Can yes. you tell? Yes, sir. Init method for creating the objects in the servlets and init method is going to create the objects n number of requests. It is creating the only one object when it is called as a singleton. Okay. n number of requests we can create only one object. This object created by servlet container hmm. using the init method. It is only one method called only one time in the lifetime of servlet. And uh, we can service method to provide the service. We can uh, we provide the service. We can go for the service. We can call n number of times service method. Uh, n number of requests. We can uh, service method is called n number of times. And uh, destroy method called only once in the lifetime of the service. Okay. For example, I want to go from the controller to uh, front end. What are the methods uh, involved to redirect to front end? From the request request and response to methods or going to the controller to the and view page yeah those are the objects fine mm -hmm. those yes, are the sir. objects references but uh, from controller i want to redirect to front end uh, request dispatcher mm -hmm. request dispatcher is going to the controller to the and view page okay do you have an idea about uh, forward and include methods of redirect forward method is only forwards the whatever we have the request and the uh, redirect method is include the request and response to the view page. Okay. Tell me about Java 8 features. Yes. Java 8 features we use for concise the code. We mm -hmm. have lambda expressions, functional interfaces, optional classes and stream API. Okay. okay. So what is the difference between predicate and function? A uh, predicate we use <coughs> for the uh, condition purpose. It we use in this test method. It accept, uh, it accept the uh, it returns the boolean value and with function it returns the one input type and uh, give the another output type. It uh, uses apply method. What is consumer and uh, supplier? Consumer is taking the input and does not return anything. What is the method you used? We use the apply, uh, not apply, so accept method. Mm, okay. So, in what supply, is the supplier then? Supplier, we can supply and we can supply just we can supply the object. We get mm -hmm. not any input. We cannot pass any input. Okay. We use this get. Okay, method. what is the use of optional class? Optional for null point exception. For null point exception? Um, does not throw in the null point expression. We use the optional okay. classes. Okay. Can okay, tell me about stream API. Stream API. Stream API is a uh, set, set of collection of data. Which new data? What you will do? What is filter? What is map? Yes, Explain sir. about filter and map. Stream, uh, stream method is from the collections we use in the stream API for return. E stream API is accepting, uh, is return the another stream. And we use in the stream uh, like methods uh, filter and map. Filter is accept, expecting predicate and uh, map is accepting the function. Very good. What is reflection API in the uh, Reflection API, we change the behavior of the class at runtime. We use the reflection API. Class dot for name. Class dot for name is registering in the driver. Whenever we have not, uh, the driver is not in the driver class, then we get the class not found exception. Yes. What is, uh, what is the difference between statement and prepare statement? A statement to uh, we use the statement it occur, uh, it it occurs the SQL injection SQL injection 
to prevent this we use to uh, prevent this <coughs> problem we use the prepared step we go for the prepared SQL step injection? sql injection like we pass the statement in a uh, number like id and uh, id and name with the values we in prepared statement we give the placeholders because we using of the placeholders we can security purpose in in statement there is no security man made middle attack our data is going to another side a uh, hacking purpose so this got sql injection okay tell me about uh, several constraints of uh, mysql yes sir one is primary key and primary key foreign key unique index index and uh, default uh, not null uh, okay so tell me what is the uh, second normal for mysql all non prime attributes are depending on the prime attribute we uh, before going to the nor uh, second normal form it must be first normal form tell me what is the difference between super key and candidate key super key um, super key is the our whatever we have the names all nine prime non prime attributes are called super key and uh, the minimal super key is called as a uh, prime at like a candidate key it is also known as prime attribute Okay. Very good. Okay, good. So, what is the difference between edge rate controller and edge rate rest controller in SQL? Edge rate controller we use it for it is the part of the rest controller and we rest controller edge rate controller we use it in the Spring MVC. For filtering controllers, of course. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, what is what it contains? Edge rate rest controller is combination of two annotations, two right? Annotations. What are the two annotations? One is controller and the other one is response body. Mm -hmm. Two okay. annotations. Okay. Great. So, what is the rate bean and rate configuration? Rate bean for creating the beans and rate configurations for con uh, maintaining the beans. Okay. Instead of we using the web dot xml, uh, bean dot xml, we use two configuration in Spring. Okay. Good. Tell me any difference between uh, Hibernate JPA. Hibernate JPA internally Hibernate uh, JPA is the Hibernate. Sir. We use for uh, connecting to the SQL. So already we have a JDBC, right? Then yes. why should you go for Hibernate or JPA? Uh, we in JDBC we have a lot of code, boilerplate code to reduce in this. We use for JPA or Hibernate. JPA is internally Hibernate. Okay, thank. You.